Here is a quick and dirty one take video on how to set the vertical tracking force or weight of your record player. So there's two ways of doing it. The simple one is to get one of these scales. They're like 10 euros, pounds, dollars on Amazon or wherever. Uh, I put a link to one in the description and you can just put your stylus on this and you know the force that it pushes down with, but really you don't need one of those scales. What you can also do is use the counterweight that is already on your record player. So this is it. It has a weighty bit, metal, and it has a plasticky bit with numbers on it that you can rotate. You put it on there. And if you turn it all the way back, all that weight of the metal bit will push down on the arm and push it up. So if I now let go, the arm falls up. The weight is way too low. If I turn it all the way forward, the arm will stay put. It's very heavy. But if I were to play a record now, this stylus would be squished because it would be pressing down too hard. Now, there is a point somewhere where the arm doesn't fall up and doesn't fall down. Let's see, now it's still falling up. Now it's falling down. So somewhere in between, there's a point where it will start floating. It is floating now, look at that. So you got a floating arm, which means it's zero grams. So what you do now is you hold the weighty bit and you turn the numbers until they read zero grams. Now the arm's at zero grams, floating, and the numbers read zero. And now it's just a matter of turning the weight and the numbers will follow to the desired weight, which in this case is two grams. What you need for a weight depends on your cartridge and it will tell you in the manual of your cartridge or your record player, should be easy enough. Then there's that other dial, anti-skating. Now the proper way of setting up anti-skating is using a test record and an oscilloscope. Um, but there's a quick and dirty way to do it. I already made a video on that called quick and dirty anti-skating setup. It's uh, somewhere in the top now, you can click it. But let me demonstrate it real quick for you again. This will not be as clear of a demonstration as the one I did before, but let's do this. Anti-skating is now all the way down. If I now let the stylus sink, let's see what happens. So most of the times you will hit the groove, but sometimes, did you see that? Sometimes you won't and it will sort of skip inwards. There it went, see? It really wants to go to the inside of the record there. And uh, the tricky bit is because you hit the groove most of the times, you won't see, but sometimes you miss it and it will just skip inward. There it went again. Now, if I turn the anti-skating all the way up, it will actually, I can already feel it, want to go outwards. You can see it doesn't really know where to go right now, whether it should go in or out because the grooves are going in and the anti-skating is pulling it outwards. The trick is to set the anti-skating so that every time you land the stylus, still too high, it sinks into the groove nicely and smoothly. Still pulling in a bit too much. This is just a matter of looking closely. Again, watch that other video because it has a much nicer camera view and you can see it properly, still pulling in a bit too much. Still a bit much and at some point you just adjust until at some point every time you land it it lands smoothly into the groove where are we now it's pulling out a bit so i'm a bit too far it's a pretty pretty fine line but you'll find it and it went in smoothly and it went in smoothly and it went in smoothly i think we got our anti-skating setup about right yep no skipping inwards no searching outwards that's all we need. So there you go. Anti-skating setup, vertical tracking force setup, ready to play our records. And that's all there is to it. So four minute video to set up your vertical tracking force and your anti-skating in such a way that at least it will definitely not damage your records and it should sound just fine. That is all folks.